Pack yourself a toothbrush deal. Pack yourself a favorite blouse. Take a withdrawal slip. Take all of your savings out. 'Cause if we don't leave this town, we might never make it out. I was not born to drown. Baby, come on. Forget what Father Brennan said. We were not born in sin. Leave a note on your bed. Let your mother know you're safe. And by the time she wakes, we'll have driven through. The first time I met Morgan was January when I first moved down to Provo of 2016. She's good friends with a guy that I serve my mission with, so I went to um, his apartment to hang out with some people and she happened to be there. The first time I met Marshall, we were at um, our mutual friend Kevin's house. Because it's like college and we were like being dumb, I don't even know how it came about, but there came a thing that one of my best friends had to kiss all of the guys in the room. So Marshall was one of those guys, it was our first time meeting Marshall and anyways, I love to tell everybody that the first time I met Marshall, he kissed one of my best friends. I kissed her best friend. I remember we were talking about it after and we for some reason thought that he looked like a cowboy. Marshall hates it when I say this. But he was wearing like some plaid shirt and like the way his jeans were and when I picture it in my mind, I picture him as like wearing a cowboy hat. Um, yeah, I thought he was a cowboy. Remember being like, he's cute, but we don't like cowboys. He'll say the next time we met was at a hot tub. We both happened to go hot tub in. But it wasn't, it was actually at a party, uh, the Earth, Wind & Fire party on the 21st night of September. He was like dancing, like doing his like, I don't even know, his like whatever dancing. And, and my friend Sarah again was like filming it and like being like, yes, yes, while he was dancing because he was dancing all weird. And I remember thinking, oh, that guy's cute. And then I remember talking to my friend and she was like, that's Marshall, like the cowboy guy. She was like, he's like way cute, way hot, but like, really weird guy, you can never bring him home to meet your parents. So I remember I was thinking like, before I got to know him, I was like, oh, way cute guy, but like a little too wild crazy maybe. Some of Morgan's really good friends moved right up in the apartment above me, so she was always going up and down. And I would see her through the window, and then she's a pretty outgoing person. So she would just force her way into my apartment and somehow find the fridge and eat all of my food. And so that's how we got to know each other because she was always eating my food. The first time I knew I loved Marshall, I think it was like the same time kind of for him. I remember we had been kind of dating or in our dating stage for a little bit. I was wondering where things were going to go because we were hanging out all the time. So I had been praying about it a little bit like, like should I keep dating this guy or what? And um, he said he'd been kind of feeling the same way, like just kind of questioning where this was going to go. And he came over to my apartment and I just cooked for him, which I rarely do. And he was like really stressed out and he came over and we just like kind of talked and he like vented. And I just remember thinking, wow, like I really, really cared that he was like stressed out and I just wanted to do everything to help him. So I knew that, yeah, that I would do anything for him. When I first knew I loved Morgan was this time that I don't even know what was on my mind, but I was so stressed out with probably everything about my life. I went over to her apartment and we were chatting and she was just super nice and super understanding and I might have cried a little bit and she was just really just there for me. And I think that's when I started like realizing like, yeah, this is it. Like, I think I'm in. And I think I'm ready to love this girl. When did I first know I wanted to marry Marshall? That's kind of hard. I'm not sure of like an exact time. It just kind of happened over time. I think kind of once I knew life felt weird without him. So I don't know, I just knew I wanted him in my life. I don't know if I really ever realized I wanted to marry Morgan. It's just that I knew I loved her 
and I would be a fool to let her go. My favorite thing about Morgan is probably her ability to get me and my weirdness, because a lot of people don't understand it or don't want to be around me that long. But she's pretty awesome because she likes it and can get weird too. My favorite thing about Marshall is probably just how he's just like unapologetically himself. Like he's like, this is me and my animal shirts and wanting to do crazy stuff. And he just has like such a zest for life and he just is so, he just makes life fun. My least favorite thing about Marshall? Well, he tickles me every day for probably about two hours nonstop. I can't breathe, I tell him to stop, and he just keeps going. My least favorite thing about Morgan is that she feels necessary to keep everything that she's ever owned ever, even if she hasn't touched it in the last year. So when I proposed to Morgan, she had already told me what ring she wanted, which was awesome, because I get all the credit for buying the ring. But I knew it had to be a surprise, because we had talked about it, she knew it was coming. We planned a night at her house with all of our good friends. I told them all before to be there half an hour earlier than planned, so that we could surprise Morgan. So we go to dinner, I dressed up nicer than usual, but I had to wear my slippers, so I didn't set her off, and then we get to her house in Draper and we walk around the porch. Everyone was in there hiding and there was like flower rose petals on the porch. She realizes what's going on and I propose. Well, I didn't really say anything, but I pretend to propose and I kneel down. And the first thing she says is, when did you talk to my dad? Did, how did you get the money for this? And then finally says yes. So that was kind of weird because I wasn't sure if she was going to say yes for a second, but then she did. He made me feel like it was going to be a long ways out. He had no money and he hadn't asked my dad's permission. So I shouldn't expect it for a while. So it was definitely a surprise when it came. I remember we talking to some of our friends about like how different things are once you propose and it's like real. But it was kind of different for us, I think just because I felt like we both were really sure for a long time that this is what we wanted and it, there wasn't really like a lot of questions in our mind. Well, Morgan, I am very excited for marriage. I'm excited for life. I'm excited for the future. Um, I love you a lot. I'll give you a kiss right after I'm done saying this. I'm excited to get married and be with him always. I'm really excited. I can't believe it's here. It doesn't feel real, but love, love you. Hey, you cheater! Someone bit my neck. Gee! No, stop! Seriously, that's not even funny. I was in the gas station waiting for 45 minutes. Three gas room attendants came up to gas station attendants came up to me, and they were like, "Are you okay?" And I was like, "Yeah, sorry, I'm just waiting for my boyfriend who's in the bathroom for 45 minutes." No comment. <laughs> Cause all that you are is all that I'll ever need